Once upon a time in ancient India, Lord Buddha was sitting under the shade of a Bodhi tree, surrounded by his devoted disciples. One day, a young disciple approached him, seeking guidance on how to navigate the ever-changing world and embrace the power of adaptability. Lord Buddha smiled kindly and began to share a moral story. Dear disciple, Lord Buddha began, there was once a wise king who ruled over a prosperous kingdom. This king had a precious diamond that he treasured deeply. He kept it close to him at all times, believing it brought him immense power and protection. One day, as the king was inspecting his vast kingdom, the diamond accidentally slipped out of his hand and fell into a deep, murky river. The king was distraught and ordered his ministers and soldiers to retrieve the diamond at any cost. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, but the diamond remained elusive. The king's advisors suggested using nets and divers, but all efforts proved in vain. Finally, a humble old fisherman approached the king with a glimmer of hope. The fisherman, wise in his ways, said to the king, O mighty ruler, the river's currents are strong, and the depths are unfathomable. However, if you allow me to find a way, I shall return your diamond to you. Intrigued, the king agreed. The old fisherman returned the next day with a simple wooden box. He explained, Your Majesty, the river is always changing, and the diamond could be anywhere. Instead of searching aimlessly, I propose we adapt and make use of what the river brings to us. The king, desperate yet willing to try, gave his consent. The fisherman placed the wooden box on the riverbank and tied a string to it. He waited patiently as the river flowed, and soon enough, a fish swam by and curiously entered the box. The fisherman quickly closed the lid and pulled the box ashore. To his delight, the fish carried the king's diamond in its mouth. Amazed by the fisherman's ingenuity, the king rewarded him handsomely. He then reflected on the lesson he had learned and realized the profound truth it held. The river symbolized the ever-changing nature of life while the fisherman's adaptability represented the key to overcoming obstacles. Turning to his disciple, Lord Buddha concluded, My dear disciple, life is like the river, constantly flowing and presenting us with unexpected challenges. In times of change, we must embrace adaptability and find new ways to navigate the currents. Just as the fisherman used the river's gifts to retrieve the diamond, we too must utilize the resources and opportunities that come our way. Remember, clinging to the past or resisting change only leads to suffering. By cultivating adaptability, we can transcend obstacles and find peace within ourselves. Embrace change, my disciple, for it is through adaptability that we discover our true strength. The disciple listened attentively his heart filled with gratitude for Lord Buddha's wise teachings. From that day forward, he embraced change with an open mind and an adaptable spirit, finding joy and growth in every moment of life's ever-changing journey.